All right, just coming out to check on them this morning. Let's see what we've got. Hi, ladies. Any changes this morning? Anything new? Hi, baby. How's it going? Any difference? Yeah? Yeah? No? Why do you look like you're... No? No? You better not be bred. You'd be way too young. No, you're just chilling. I just caught you relaxing. Let's see if your mama's doing anything different back here. Nothing. Still poofy. No drainage. Okay. You keep an eye on her. Let me know how she does. She definitely looks more dropped and sunken in right there. I've been told to watch out for that, so we'll see. She could be not bred at all, and I'm just reading signs because I want to see signs. So we'll find out within a week or two. <laughs> well, we have mu mucus, red mucus. This means, yes, she is definitely going to have a calf. And she is approaching the active labor point. I'm not going anywhere today. Thought we were going to go for a hike, but nope. We have mucus. Y'all, I don't know if I'm going crazy. Is it heat or is it labor? Seriously. <sighs> I'm looking at this right side and it does look much bigger and I swear I see movement in there that looks like a calf but I haven't seen like a true like elbow or knee or hoof you know like you do when you're at the end of your pregnancy with any animal you, you can like literally see the imprint of what's moving I haven't seen that, but I see a lot of movement that really looks, uh, excuse the, excuse that movement. That's not the movement I meant to record. <laughs> but if I just watch the belly long enough, I see a lot of movement that doesn't, I don't know. Uh. I might just be imagining things too because I really want her to be bred. I, I don't know what I'm going to do if she's not because I need to have animals producing something. Milk, babies, something for all this food she eats. <laughs> but I sure love her. She does provide companionship, that's for sure. Love my cows. But she has been holding her tail up. And away from her vulva too, which is another sign. I don't know. I guess time will tell. I got about a week before my cutoff date and I'm going to be telling myself, nope, that was not labor. Hello, little morning dove. You're a very pretty one. So... Been checking on her regularly. We were gone for most of the day today. I checked on her when I got back. Everything seemed normal. But now it's evening chore time and she is holding her tail straight up and away from her body. It was even higher just a second ago. That is a very strong indicator that there could be something happening. Again, we could have nothing happening, but it could be 
something happening. All right, baby girl, let's see. The light is in my eyes, so I'm sure this video is not gonna be the best. Okay, the udder is still not fully expanded and she doesn't look fully expanded down there either. So I'm gonna say nah, she still got, she still got a minute. She still got a minute. Still no changes with this beautiful one. She just doesn't look any closer or any further from being anything. So we're just gonna keep watching her. We only have a week left of watching. Every day, every night, hoping. Uh -huh. She has been more vocal, but I don't know if that's because I'm out here running around like a maniac. So, we'll see. Sweet mama. Are you getting tired of me checking on you? Oh. Yeah. No difference. No difference. She is licking the goat. She is licking my buck. She's definitely got to be in labor, right? Still the same. She still has mucus coming off. The udder is the same. Everything's the same. I'm starting to think I might be crazy. Y'all, I'm about to write her off as not bred. She should have calved by now. She should have. I don't get it. She should have been bred. She was with a bull for five months. Girl, what are you trying to tell me? You're just trying to keep me on my toes. You're making me wish I had done a pregnancy test. Yeah. I, with the goats, I never had to do a pregnancy test because you could tell. You can't tell with cows. Everybody that's seen her pictures has said, oh yeah, she's bred, she's bred. Oh yeah, she's definitely bred. I don't think she's bred. I think we've, we've, I think we've wasted a lot of time coming out here checking and waiting that we could have been rebreeding her. Because I think I'm going to give up now. It's... I mean, yes, she has discharge. Yes, she has some udder. Yes, she's bigger in the belly than she's ever been. Yes, it looks lower here than it ever has. But maybe I'm just seeing what I want to see. I don't know. I'm, I think I'm going to give up. Maybe that's when it'll happen then. <laughs> all the other heifers in her herd, all the other cows in her herd have all birthed already. <sighs> yeah. And really now we're getting down to the point where if she was bred, it was like on the last day we picked her up at. I don't know. Well, it's the morning of October 4th. This is what I told myself. I would give myself till the morning of October 4th. And if there's no baby, I'm going to stop expecting one. Honey, you fooled everyone. Yeah, everybody that saw your picture said, oh yeah, she's going to have a baby in a couple of days. And I thought so too. But apparently, you're just a heifer. Well, not a heifer, but a big, fat, pain in the butt cow. No. Nope, she's actually less swollen in the back. So. <coughs> yep. I know. Let's go see your daughter. 
so it turns out that it was heat, not labor. Sad. I'm 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 really disappointed. We really thought she was bred. I had great hopes for a calving on our homestead, but now I have to deal with trying to figure out how and when I'm going to breed these two. This will be interesting. So, yep, disappointment is real, but you know, this is how it goes. And I've learned some lessons, I've learned some stuff, and yep. What, Bill? You had to add your two cents. Yeah, you had to add your two cents. I was gonna let her go out with her daughter, Lashes, but she's not coming to me. I don't have any food or anything, so. I guess we'll just have to wait until this afternoon when we do our evening chores and get her to come out for some food. Because there's no point in keeping her locked up in here anymore. See how they do on the fence. The barbed wire parts that we tried to divert their attention from. And yeah, that's just, this is how it goes sometimes, folks. I've definitely learned that I'm going to be doing pregnancy checks on cows in the future. Because if we had done that, we would have saved ourselves 10 months. Now I feel like I've wasted 10 months of time that she could have been bred. Ugh. Frustrating, but it's a lesson learned. And, you know, this is... One of the things about farming that you don't know until you are actually doing it is, you know, how, how, how obvious are these signs that everybody tells you to look for? I had numerous cattle experts tell me from looking at pictures that she was bred and going to calve within a few days. Numerous. And she didn't. So even with experience... You can be wrong, and certainly without the experience, because most of my experience was from raising dairy cows as a kid in the fields and not needing to pay that close attention to who was bred and about the calf. It was more for fun, so now I know. And uh, knowing is half the battle. As I sit here pondering this whole situation, I can at least think of one good thing that comes out of this. Now we know when her heat cycle is, and now she's shown a heat cycle. I don't know why she didn't show a heat cycle for 10 months, and then all of a sudden has a really heavy heat cycle, because that's the only thing that can explain all of the symptoms that were leading up to us thinking she could have been going into labor. And as far as her size, she's just a fat girl. She's well fed, but... That's good. Going into winter, her being heavy like that will help with her body condition staying strong through the winter. So I'm happy about that. It's just really, really discouraging when I think about how many people were so sure <laughs> that she was going to be going into labor, including myself. I'm trying not to get down about it because I, you know, these things happen. But in the same breath, I'm like struggling. I'm like... I really wanted a baby cow, and I really, really didn't want to waste 10 months of time, but that's how it goes. So we'll just have to figure out a plan of action moving forward, um, acquiring a bull to use or AI. If you have any suggestions, leave it down in the comments. Um, let's start a discussion. What do you do in a situation like this? Um, what's the best course of action? Our heifer is 15 months old. Is she old enough? If I can get a bull to service them, should I do both of them? Um, I was going to wait till she was closer to two, but she's also just about the size of mom now. So with, with goats, that's usually a big criteria is size and age. How about with cattle? What do you guys think? Would you wait on her? Should I wait until she's ready and then do both? 
or is, I risk in mom's fertility rate if I don't breed her sooner than later. I know with goats, if they put on extra fat, then it might be harder for them to take a pregnancy. And obviously she already had trouble taking the last pregnancy because we don't have a baby and she was with a bull for five months. So I'm a little nervous, but also optimistic um, that I've learned some lessons and we can now track her cycle because we know that she was in heat on Ryan's birthday. We can count how many weeks till her next cycle and hopefully she'll be on track from this point forward and it'll be easier to get her bread. So wish me luck and leave me all the tips and advice that you can think to offer and be kind about it. I'm kind of crushed. <laughs>